Rockstar's Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here, and today we're going to be talking about the top seven guitar tricks slash techniques that make you sound fast, all right? So, here are the seven techniques. I'm going to go over them with you and show you what they're all about, but utilizing open strings, two-hand tapping, legato licks, sweep picking, tremolo picking, doubling up licks, and economy picking. So here we go. Let's go over some of these examples. This first one is uh, called utilizing open strings, and we'll talk about it in detail. So. Okay, trick one is utilizing open strings. So all of these tricks that I'm gonna show you, all these techniques or tricks, if you will, what they do is they don't necessarily make you faster, but what they do is they either give you more time to think about what you're going to play, which in, in turn makes you faster, because if you're messing up a lick, no matter how fast you're trying it, uh, it doesn't count, right? What counts is an, uh, a well-executed lick. So all of these either give you some time to think about the lick, but still you're picking fast, or just in the nature of the picking itself, it makes it easier to pick, okay? Uh, this falls into category one where you're still picking fast, but you're utilizing open strings. What this does is a couple things. Number one, you're picking on one string, so you're not crossing two different, two different strings, or three different strings, many. And because of that, it just keeps you in sync with one string, and then uh, using the open strings allow you to uh, bring in some other notes for diversity so it doesn't sound like you're just on one string. Also, what it does is having that open note allows you to actually be able to play uh, notes consistently uh, while, you're, while you have time to move around to other notes. So, for instance, that lick that I just played uh, for you there was a little Iron Maiden lick. And it's using the high open string, the high E. So if you can just do that on one string, then it's a matter of picking out the melody. Now this takes a little bit of timing, but essentially what you want to do is just pick quickly on one particular string, you can do it on any, and then figure out whatever little melody you want to play. Slow it down to whatever speed you need. Work with some open strings, one, one string at a time, and then figure out some melodies that you like. You literally can create a million different melodies from this. You can do it with, with hammer-ons and pull-offs, uh, but utilizing that open string is our number one trick. Two-hand tapping is our second trick or technique, and it utilizes hammer-ons and pull-offs, but it's where we take our picking hand, bring it over to the guitar neck, and actually are hammering and pulling off with the picking hand. This is was made very famous by Eddie Van Halen, but a slew of guitar players did it after him, and some guitar players actually did it well before Eddie uh, ever brought this to the mainstream. Many different patterns that you can use for this, but the reason why this is so fast is you're doing something over and over and over again. So you're not just playing a scale from one end of the spectrum to the other where you have to think about every single individual note. You may be playing three notes over and over again. And in doing so, you only have those three notes to work with. There's not a lot of uh, change, right? So once you get those three notes down, then it's just a matter of practicing it more and more and more. Now, as far as this, you can do you know, do any combination. In this case here, the way Eddie did it, he would do it from the lowest note up. Obviously, when you're doing this, you only want to hammer and pull off on the string that you're on and the two adjacent strings, in this case here, I'm doing this on string two, the two adjacent strings, one and three, are being muted by my first finger as I'm playing. 
if I didn't do that, I'd get a lot of superfluous noise from those other strings. Now you can utilize open strings as well. <laughs> Okay, you can use open strings just like on our on our trick one there, or again, just closed off here or picking any combination you can come up, you can come down, doesn't matter, the world's your oyster. I have a video on this specifically on two hand tapping. If you want to check that out, search your guitar sage two hand tapping. <laughs> So the next technique is called legato or legato licks. And essentially what it is, is similar to what we did with the two hand tapping just now where, where we are utilizing or really taking advantage of slurs, AKA hammer-ons and pull-offs in combination. A pull-off is when we pick a note and we don't pick the second note. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling off as if I'm finger picking, but with the, with the fretting hand. And if we were to hammer it, it's just the opposite. I'd pick the lowest note and I would snap my finger onto the neck and then that would create a hammer on. A technique that takes a little bit to get used to. It doesn't happen at first. So if you're trying this the first time, prepare to be a little bit frustrated because it doesn't come right away. That's why we practice, okay? So check this out. that's a hammer on. So when we're talking about legato, and I always tell my students to just remember, like think about legato, like shaving the legs, it's smooth, right? As opposed to staccato, like a stiletto heel pointed, that's more of this sort of picking, right? Real individual, real specific um, picking every single time, whereas legato, is using hammer-ons and pull-offs. So for me to have to pick every single note, there's gonna be more room for error as opposed to if I were to do a lick that is utilizing hammer-ons and pull-offs like this. What I'm doing there is I'm literally picking some of the notes, but then hammering and pulling off other notes. So something that you wanna be aware of in your playing is when you're practicing these techniques, try it with all picking, try it with hammer-ons and pull-offs. You might surprise yourself that you can get a really good sound out of the guitar simply by doing hammer-ons and pull-offs. Of course, you always wanna pick that first note. Sweep picking is our fourth trick or technique here for sounding fast. And again, it's not that we're not being fast, but we're using some patterns, we're using some techniques and some tricks here that allow us to exploit the neck in a way that makes us sound faster, maybe in for these particular licks, where maybe in other licks we may not be able to play that fast. So I'm using arpeggios here. I have a whole video on this if you guys want to, want to see it, otherwise this video would be too long. Uh, search Your Guitar Sage Sweep Picking if you want more on this. But essentially what we're doing is I'm taking uh, three shapes here. I'm taking major, I'm taking diminished and I'm taking minor. Taking these from, from full chords, I'm just playing the top three strings. Again, that video on sweet picking will teach you specifically um, in detail. But what I'm doing here is I'm sweeping across the string. So it's when you pick down, you pick up, that sort of thing, you're making this motion sweeping across the strings and it allows for the picking hand to not have to think as much, if you will. So nice and slow it might sound something like this. I'm also utilizing a pull off on the top of these riffs here. That's a major arpeggio there. If I turn up some, some heat here, some gain, it sounds a little bit uh, better. I'm also muting, so it gets a nice percussive type sound. And I can do this also for diminished chords. Minor. And so you can play those over 
the specific chord that's being played. So that was a, a C major there just now, uh, a B diminished, a an A minor. And so if you're hearing on A minor chord, you can play that A minor arpeggio over the top. But anytime you're sweet picking, I mean, it doesn't have to be these patterns, it could be any patterns, but when you're going across two or three strings at once, you get this really quick burst of notes and it sounds extremely fast. Tremolo picking is a great way to sound very fast because really what you're doing is you're just picking very quickly on a particular note. So instead of going through a slew of different notes, you can double up on those notes, you can triple, you know, quadruple, whatever the bit is that you want to do there. And so again, you're hearing a very quick picking happening, but the left hand is not having to be as in sync is if you were playing each individual note picked and a different fret. So in this case here, instead of us doing something like this, we have to keep up with each one of those notes, which is hard enough as it is, we can pick a lot faster. By, by playing many times on one particular note. That's what we call tremolo picking and it's literally that simple. Uh, many guitar players have used this to have that very fast sound, but again, not necessarily playing very fast with their fretting hand. All right, doubling up on licks. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm actually using two techniques. And so we might as well show them both to you. Doubling up on licks and also economy picking. And in fact, when these are done in tandem, it's even a, a, a greater sound. So what I did here is I took three notes. And not only am I repeating some of those notes, so I'm coming up, coming down. I'm also repeating the same musical motif on the next string. So let's take that delay off here and I'll turn the drive down a little bit, but I'm going to move that same motif, that same musical idea down a string. Now it doesn't always work out perfectly that like that. In this case it does, but it doesn't always. The fingering may be different. You may be on different frets, but in this case it does, so this would be a great lick for you to pick. Now in this case here I'm also using economy picking, which basically means it's strict up and down picking until it doesn't make sense anymore. Now for our lick here, since we're doing uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, known as sextuplets, that's right, sextuplets, my friend, you're playing six notes at a time, that's the phrase. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're moving that to another string. And we're moving that to another string. Another octave down and another octave. So we're using a lot of patterns here that are, that are the same. Essentially, I played one, two, three, uh, four octaves. Okay, so I'm just making things more simple in my head d using several techniques here. Same lick, four different octaves, but it sounds like I'm going from one end of the spectrum to the other, but essentially I just played the same lick four times. I'm also playing them in real strict sex tuplets, which again brings some organization to it so your brain doesn't have to think so hard, right? Uh, and then I'm also using economy picking, where I, or at least I'm setting up the licks if I'm doing uh, any even amount of notes on a particular string. When I move to the next string, and if I do the same even amount of notes, it's always going to be down, up, down, up, down, up. I'm not doing down, up, down, up, down or messing up the pattern in some way, okay? So again, it's very deliberate, it's very thought out. In fact, this would be a great lick for you to work on. Um, this one, I'll have to say, I'll have to give this one to, um, uh, to Troy Grady, who has a great series on speed picking. Um, 
I stole this one from him and it's a fantastic idea. So thank you, Troy. Uh, but essentially, again, think, you know, you want to think patterns. So what I'm dealing with here is uh, frets 17, 19, and 20. And I'm picking... If you just remember that, you've got the whole lick because it's literally the same thing every time. So start on the high note. If you can play that, you've got the whole thing because here it is, watch. I'm going to the next string and playing the same thing. Going to the next string, but now moving down. And again. Now I'm moving down to the second fret. Again. Now the open. And so you'd want to practice that, get that conceptually into your head, and then work it slowly. And then you're adding some speed to it. What it does is it gives you time. Eventually, over time, that will become faster. Now, my friends, that's it for this video. Hopefully you dug this. If you did, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all videos, all that fun stuff. Friends, I have a super course for you. It's called the Unstoppable Guitar System, and over a half million people have started this course. Many, many, many have seen it all the way to the end, and we've changed folks' lives. I'm giving the part of this course to you for free today. The very first link below, it's the Unstoppable Guitar System standard. Friends, this will change your musical life. I can promise you that. And you'll probably end up sticking with the program all the way. But take advantage of that. It's free for you. Or go to yourguitarsage.com 30. If you're watching on mobile right now, you don't have the time to do all that because you're in the doctor's office or hanging out somewhere uh, getting your oil redid or something like that, then text me, 833-744-0154. Seriously, text me to that number, text F-R-E-E, -E. I will set you up with that course. You'll be in there, we'll chat, we'll be friends. Friends, I'm Eric Andres, your guitar sage. I'm here to help you play guitar. Please let me know how I can do it. Leave your comments below. As always, be kind to all beings. Do the right thing always. Practice your guitar. I'll see you in the next video.